Hey loves, how are you doing? Today I have something a little bit more fun for you. I feel like I always say that in my intros, but today's video is like, you know, a lot more fun because it will be a chit chat. I will show you what I got in my traveling makeup bag because in like two or three days we are going for a trip with the family and some other friends and I already have my traveling makeup bag packed. So I thought maybe this is something you want to see, you're interested in, you know, because there I have like my main makeup products, the things that I really love, you know, the things that I carry with me when I go away. So I really hope you enjoy and now let's get started. So this is the bag I will carry with me. As you can see, it's a little bit like winter themed. I will say I got it in December or in January from Women's Secret, but I thought it's like the cutest thing in the world, so I have to pack in this. I don't care if it's not like spring themed or like summery, you know, I don't really care. It's like cute, beautiful, and it's like super practical. It has like a lot of rooms inside, so it's, it's just the most beautiful thing in the world. And it has this little hanger, you know, on top, so it's, it's just the perfect makeup bag. So let's see what I got inside. By the way, you know, outside it has like little dots, but inside it has cute little hearts. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, let's see. So I just wanted to quickly let you know something else. So I started a Hungarian series here on my channel, which means that I will post Hungarian videos as well. I got a lot, a lot of requests from my Hungarian followers to do so. So I thought, of course, why not? This is my mother language, so of course I will start that. But I won't create a separate channel for that. I will post everything here on this channel. I will have like, you know, a little category on my channel where I post my Hungarian videos, but everything will be here. I thought I will do like subtitles for you in English so you can understand what I'm talking about, you know. It's a little bit time consuming, actually a lot, a lot of time, but I thought of course I will do that as well so you can understand what I'm talking about, you know. So uh, the first video is without subtitles where I did the first impression of the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation, but I think, you know, the second video will be with English subtitle. So I just wanted to quickly let you know and yeah. Let's go back to the video. So by the way, I always pack like in order of how I apply my makeup so I make sure I don't miss anything. So the first thing is primer and this is what I use on a daily basis. This is the Nivea Man Sensitive Aftershave Palm which is like the best primer, you know, underneath your foundation. I really need, I really need this just because, you know, we will be out of the hotel room in like 8 in the morning and then we will be back in the evening so I have to have my makeup like last a long period of time so this is this is crucial for me and it's like 100 milliliters so it's good if you want to bring it with you on the plane as well so that's the first thing then let's move on to foundation and I think it won't be a surprise because I use these two the combination of these two always just because I'm like fair but not this fair like what like rose ivory so I have to have the combination of these two so I use L'Oreal True Match foundation in rose ivory mixed with golden beige I always like dot a little bit of rose no a lot more of rose ivory on my face and just you know three dots here and there of the golden beige and that will be like my perfect combination of foundation I love this because it's super natural on the skin it blends super well and at the same time it covers so a great foundation and it's from the drugstore don't forget that um yes and i always like you know when i pack the foundation i always uh, pack the brush as well and this is the brush i'm using for foundation i don't know but i just love this brush so much i have a lot of of you know um more expensive brushes you know but this is the one I always use I have to be honest with you I love this brush for my foundation which is from Coastal Scents I got sent this so I don't really know it doesn't have like a number on it so I don't really know what's this but I believe it's like their foundation brush so that's for my foundation it's a little bit broken but I love this so this I will use so next we will do concealers so I will show you my little combination of concealers which is Catrice Camouflage Concealer in 020 Light Beige. So this is the first I apply underneath my eyes. And then just to brighten the, the area, I will use this from 17, the Ideal Cover Liquid Concealer, which looks like this. And then I will blend all in with my foundation brush. So the same brush I will use underneath the eyes. 
I always like to set my under eye area so the concealer I apply uh, I applied with some powder and now I'm using this from 17 as well which is the face powder from 17 in the shade natural so this is how it looks like I will do some close-ups for you as well and this is like a light powder you know just for the under eye area I don't use powder for the rest of my face I don't really feel like I need to but under the eyes just you know so I don't crease I will use the powder. I also put this powder in, the Makeup Forever HD powder, just in case, you know, because this is like a very, um, very good quality powder, so I thought I just want to have this in there because it's like small, so just in case, you know, I don't want to use that, so I will use this. This one is translucent, by the way. We should do the brows. By the way, I always do my eyes and then brows, but now I will show you the products for the brows. And I'm using uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in Blonde. So that's what I always use because it's waterproof and I really love how it applies. I love the shade, I love the texture of this, so this is, this is a must for me basically, but it's a little bit more time consuming than a pencil. So this is how it looks like, as you can see, I've used a lot of it. And I'm using this with this brush by Sigma, which is the Sigma E65. This is like perfect for brows. This is an ankle brush, by the way. So this is like the best combination for me. When I'm, you know, in a hurry or I don't want to waste too much time with my brows, I will use an eyebrow pencil. And I'm using this one by Sigma, which is in the shade Clean Cut. So I love this as well, but it won't last, you know, as long as the deep brow. So, but it's like, you know, very good. And I always fix my brows with a clear brow gel, which I don't have it in here. Where are you? By Anastasia. Just a second, I have to get it. So I got it and this is how it looks like. So a clear brow gel from Anastasia, which will fix your brows very good so it will last you know for the whole day so yeah now let's move on to eyes so eyeshadow and mascara and all that stuff I have here like two palettes which I will bring with me one is from Zoeva and one is from Sigma from Zoeva is the Coco blend palette which looks like this I'm obsessed with like warm shades so that's what I will bring with me this is how this palette looks like, as you can see, beautiful shades. I love these two browns, I really love this gold shade, I love this, which is called Sweeter, and this is like a neutral, you know, base for your eyelids, so I have like a lot of shades in here, which I love. This is a must, and then, like my all-time favorite palette to travel with is by Sigma, because it's like smaller, you know, and warm shades as well. This is beautiful, this, as you can see, I love. A matte beige shade I have some shimmers in it like burgundies this one is a beautiful golden shade as well so then what else do we have here so eye brushes that's super important and I always bring with me these brushes when I travel so four Sigma brushes because this is I believe you know what I really have to have with me and I can do any looks I want to there are three blending brushes and one pencil brush so I always use the E they are dirty by the way I have to wash them before we leave so I have the E25 which is my ultimate uh, blending brush I love this so much you can do any looks with it so that will come for sure then I always bring with me this one which is the tapered blending if I want something like you know a, how to explain that I don't want to be to be very concentrated in my crease I just want like an overall smoked out look or an overall blend then I will use this brush and to just soften everything out I'm using this brush always which is oh my god I cannot see that oh yeah tapered blending E40 so this is you know just for the crease so that I don't have any harsh lines this is what I always do with it just to soften up the edges a little bit so these are the blending brushes I always have with me and then I have to have like a pencil brush if I want to you know smoke out the lower lash line this is what I'm always using for that which is the pencil Sigma pencil E30 next we will have some eyeliners I have like a basic black eyeliner for my waterline which is the 
Sigma Eclipse. Then, if I don't want to, you know, um, line my waterline with the black, I will line it with this shade, which is, I think, yeah, this is Sigma as well. Let me... Polished. Polished is the name of this pencil, which is like a beautiful beige. It's not too wide because I don't like to have my waterline like too wide because that's obvious you can see that you know so this is like a beautiful beige if my waterline is a little bit red then I will go in with this so I will have like a more you know open look like my eyes will look like I'm not tired you know what I'm talking about that's that and then I will have this as well with me which is from Zoeva and this is the waterproof eyeliner in the shade myth this is like a beautiful rose gold highlight pencil and I love to just you know use it in the inner corners of my eyes maybe on my lips you know on the cupid's bow just a little bit I don't know just you know a beautiful liner to have with you just if you want to brighten up the eyes a little bit so that is that and now let's move on to to the rest of the face bronzer is this this is from Catrice Sun Glow Matte Bronzing Powder for darker skin. This is how it looks like. I use it every single day basically. And I'm in the shade Deep Bronze. I use this bronzer with this brush by Sigma, which is the large powder F30. So I always like to have like an overall bronze, um, bronze on my face. I don't know if you can tell. I don't really like to have like a structure, structured bronzer. I don't know why. I just like to just Bob this in, you know, here and there and a little bit up on my temples as well and that's it. Maybe if I do like a nighttime look or something very dramatic, I will do like a very contoured cheek but for like an everyday look, this is what I do. So these two are like my favorite combination. And then for blush, I, um, I chose like a very pinky shade, corally pinky shade because that I feel is like the most beautiful on everybody you know it makes you look healthy it makes you look girly so I will use and it's spring so this is what's appropriate so I will use this one which is Nifea Aura powder by Sigma I don't know if you can tell because of the lights but it's like beautiful I have it on today and I really love this blush and I apply it my phone is ringing just a second again so sorry for that. So the brush I'm using with the blush is this one by Sigma, which is beautiful. It is the blush F92. I like to use the dual fiber brush as well, but I don't know why I picked this up. So this will come with me. I also have this brush in my travel makeup bag because, you know, for my blush or maybe the highlight I will use, which will be Ray of Light Highlight Duo by Sigma, which looks like this. I have the Mary Luminizer, which is broken, so I don't want to use that or I don't want to have that on my trip, so I will have this one. It's smaller, you know, so it's easier to travel with it, and I love the golden shade which it has which will give you like a very healthy glow it's not very in the face you know like a merry luminizer or something like that it's like a very subtle highlight which i love so just put you know on the top of my cheeks and it will have it will give me like a beautiful healthy feminine glow but nothing too much so that's that and i'm applying this or with my fingers or with this this brush as i said oh and i also have this beautiful mirror by zoeva but i noticed that the Sigma blush has a mirror, so I don't know if I will bring this with me, but I love the message that it has on top, which says, we want to make a real difference in the way women experience beauty rituals. Everything we do comes from the heart. If you are not willing to risk, you cannot grow. If you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. If you cannot become your best, you cannot be happy. If you can't be happy, then what else is there? True beauty lies within confidence. We truly admire our fans and customers. Thank you Zoeva for this and you know it's like you know a simple mirror which says you are beautiful here. I don't know if you can tell but it says you are beautiful. I also have like a sharpener with me for my pencils you know I will need that. And I forgot my mascara which is the L'Oreal Miss Manga one. I love this. This is my favorite. I always use this and I always repurchase it so this will come for sure. And then now on to lipstick. Uh, by the way, I don't like to wear lip gloss when I'm traveling just because it just bothers me, you know, my hair sticks in it, so I just don't use lip glosses, but I like to use like comfortable lipsticks, usually matte lipsticks, and I will have this 
lip primer with me which is by Flor Mar and this is like a simple primer just so I can neutralize my lips with this you know I can use this or concealer um, so it will neutralize my lips and also prime them so my lipstick will last longer hopefully and the combination I'm always using is this these two lipsticks by 17 one is like super brownie and the other one brownish brownish and the other one is pinky so I will mix these two so I will have like a beautiful I don't know how to describe it but it's like a, you know the perfect nude lips which is a little bit pinky but not too pinky I love the combination it's affordable it's from the drugstore by the way it's similar to what I have on my lips right now which is those of colors maybe I will bring this liquid lipstick with me as well but this will come for sure so that was it I don't have anything else in my makeup bag I really hope you enjoyed watching this video I would like to know so please comment down below in the comment section what is your favorite makeup product to to have with you when you're traveling or what is something that you would never leave at home you know so let's discuss in the comment section down below please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and please subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one bye I'm drinking tea this time, not coffee, just because I feel like I will be sick and I cannot be sick. Some tea.